So Mike, another aspect that I'd really like to show you about the DX7 is regarding latency and also regarding, regarding servo sequencing. Models like this T-Rex 600 and like this little T-Rex 450 here are extremely response critical, meaning that when, when you get somebody doing especially 3D aerobatics, the time that you give an input to the stick versus the time when the servo actually makes a, a motion, that's called latency. And you want that to be the shortest possible time in order to get the fastest, most connected feel and response. With the DX7, our engineers spent a great deal of time in minimizing that latency. And in fact, with the DX7 and AR7000 receiver, the latency is actually faster or less latency than any PCM system on the market. Folks that have flown these are saying that they have absolutely the most connected feel of any radio system that they've ever used. Let me show you what I mean by latency. So when I give a real rapid collective response, watch how when I move the stick, how the swash plate moves immediately. And same thing with cyclic. It's immediate response. And in fact, like I said, it's faster than any PCM system going. In addition, engineers, spectrum engineers, came up with a plan such that in this case, CCPM servos have to work in unison in order to raise and lower the swash plate and to give cyclic inputs. Normally, these servos on the pulse train are located farther apart, so they happen, the sequencing happens at a distance apart, which causes them to lag. And generally, if you take a PCM system and you do rapid rate cyclic inputs like this, and especially up and down inputs, you notice the swash plate kind of swims up and down. That's just inherent of normal PCM systems. What we've done with the DX7 is we've actually taken these channels and we put them in the pulse stream exactly side by side. So it minimizes those inner reactions. So that's called servo sequencing and it works for both airplanes and helicopters. When you actually select the airplane section in the programming, the ailerons are tied together and the elevator and the auxiliary channels are tied next to each other. When you do CCPM mixing in a helicopter, it automatically ties the aileron, the pitch, and the elevator and puts those three servos side by side. You still plug the servos in the right slots in the receiver, but the programming is such that those servos are located side by side. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, I remember Mike McConville saying something about latency. You know, that's a good point. Mike was telling me some awesome information about that just the other day.